finally arrived. Fuck, it took a long time. Last time I ordered from these guys, it was a lot quicker. This is vintage LED, vintage car LEDs in the, in the United States. They make LEDs for cars, obviously old cars, so they've got the seven inch, which I've got for the Sunny, or the Jap, the Ute. I've got the, um, let me put the camera down for you a bit easier. They've got the smaller 5.25 inch circular ones too, and I thought, fuck, let's have a look and see if they've got 200 millimeter seal beam. And they do, so fuck it looks good. They all come with that German Heller H4 imprinted glass, which is great, it looks good, but no one's gonna fucking see it, so it's like an extra hundred bucks. US. Let's see what the hell's going on in here. Alright, you have to find boxes, don't you? Another one here? Alright, let's fit these. They're gonna look sick, I reckon. So here we can see right hand side is brighter than left because that's the new one. The left one's obviously a bit dirty. Um, but you know, the illumination here in the camera actually looks pretty good. On the street, not so good and a lot yellower. We'll see how we go with the vintage LED headlights. Uh, they're gonna be a lot brighter, I would say. So being fixed bucket headlights, these are pretty easy. Essentially, you just gotta take out the bucket, put the new one in. The hardest part really is making sure that you don't break any of the old plastic clips or seals. Quick comparison here, stock left to LED right. You can notice the difference straight away. Now I'm gonna to have to change the indicators <laughs> indicators, sorry. Now I'm gonna have to change the light, the bulb in that because it looks like a fucking indicator, doesn't it? This one I obviously just loosened the connector so I'll need to, when I was changing it out, so I'll need to fix that, but man. Looks pretty sick. We'll see how bright it is outside later on. We just hit daylight savings now, so I've gotta wait a couple more hours before it gets dark. But fuck, they look good, nice and bright and clean. So as you can see, I definitely need to adjust the point of aim a bit lower, but it is bright, it's good. The light is nicer too. It's just so easy to see everything. Not that it was hard before, but man, this is so much better. So there you have it, really easy, simple way to upgrade your lights to LED. You can do this to any car, not just this with flip-up lights, but this is probably the hardest one to find because of the flip-up lights and they're so uncommon. So while I was playing around with the headlights, I thought, why not do the sleepy eye conversion? For S13s, you're supposed to cut the brown wire. A red for S12, you're also supposed to cut the brown wire. As you can see, there's no brown wire. So then I saw someone mention to cut the green slash teal wire, which I did. And that led me to, when I press the button, it pops up. When I press the button to pop down, nothing happens. So now I've got headlights that stick up. So I'm gonna have to rewire that together. Uh, it's gonna be a real pain to fix. Wired that back up. Do I dare cut another one to try it? So now it works. You can see it pop up. Both. But, fuck. Oh, I don't know if I could be bothered cutting another one or not. Should I, shouldn't I? So instead of wasting more time cutting more wires and refixing them for 
lazy eye conversions that I don't really give a fuck about. I played around with the headlights, got them pointing down in the right direction a bit more. And I think the right one could go down a little bit more, but here you can see, I think, at least on the camera here, I'll see when I edit it, but it looks a lot brighter now. You can see it uh, a lot better this way. So this is, this is, this is what it should look like. And this is what, this is what I was trying to portray in the other video, but I think it was pointing a little bit too high still at this point. Now it's sort of pointing down to the road where it should be. Make sure when you're playing around with the screws that adjust, especially with these ones, they were pretty fucking old and I wasn't sure it was catching at, at first and it wasn't moving anywhere. So I had to take off half the surround just to get to it uh, on the passenger side anyway. The driver's side went down okay. Uh, but as I said, it could go down a bit more, so I think it would be easier if I took everything off and went down. But it looks pretty good now, at least it's not going to be blinding people as I'm driving into them. When I first had it, I was getting a few people flashing me with their high beams. Now, I haven't had that for a while, so yeah, uh, it looks a lot better this way. So anyway, see you on the next one.